is Big Rami responsible for killing bodybuilders? Oh, I know that sounds crazy, but bear with me. While getting bigger and bigger and bigger might be great for the sport, it might not be so good for the athletes. Boom! Boom! What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner. TigerFitness.com. Before we get started, check it out. These just lifted shirts from TigerFitness.com in five different colors. They're on sale now. Again, it's limited quantities. Get them now. They fit perfect. The sleeves hug your guns and it's so soft and comfortable. Anyway, get them now. But let's get back to this topic. So as you've seen lately, bodybuilders are getting huge. They're getting huge. And the bigger they are, the harder they die. And boy, our bodybuilders getting bigger. We had a good run, though. We had a good run. After Phil fell off, we had Sean Roden with his classic lines, his streamlined physique. Then Brandon Curry stepped in with a smaller, more proportionate physique. A man who is known for not bulking up in the offseason. And hey, he prioritizes health and family. His wife, Brandy, even had a wellness clinic for overall health. I'm talking crazy things like saunas and colonoscopies. That's right. They shove a garden hose up your butt and woof, flush it out. I'm not saying Brandon did it, but if he did, that man's got a clean sphincter. Okay, then in 2020, Big Rami ushered in a new era of size and size. And holy shit more size. This man is huge. His back is the size of a 747 jet. His quads are the size of his home country of Egypt. He is a large, large man. Things didn't change immediately though. People still were playing their own game, right? Brandon was still, you know, streamlined. Um, these guys were coming in, you know, Nice and svelte, nice little waist. Rami has a good waist. I'm not saying he has a big waist. But in 2021, when Rami beat Brandon again, the writing was on the wall. The judges are rewarding size over shape and conditioning. This makes sense because we have classic physique. So if you want shape and a classic look, just go to classic physique. But from a health standpoint, and for the future of the sport, this is a horrible trajectory. Now you have Nick Walker. You guys know Nick Walker. Now, Nick Walker, I wasn't a huge fan of his physique. Now I look at him. I'm literally sitting that room of a, of, a, of a TV room over there. My wife and I are sitting watching TV before bed. Watching this show called Manifest on Netflix. It's great. I think we're on like season two or something. And... I'm looking at my Instagram and there it is. Nick Walker posted this photo two days out from the Olympia or three days out or whatever it is. And I'm like, holy shit, I've never seen anything so impressive. Nick looks amazing, but the dude's pushing it hard. Then you have Hadi Chopin. He's carrying more muscle in a short frame than one of those myostatin cows. I don't see this changing, honestly. I, I just don't. People tend to forget we had a generation of bodybuilders die young. Remember the 1990s mass monsters? Nasser al Sambadi, Greg Kovacs, Mike Matarazzo. They all died. And we can't deny that being huge was the main cause of their death and the drugs they pushed. They pushed the limits of size. They paid the ultimate price for it. Their deaths were most certainly accelerated by their extreme body weight and use of copious amounts of anabolic steroids. They were playing the game. If the judges weren't rewarding such extreme size, they wouldn't have had to take it so hard, do so much, take so many drugs, and in turn be so big. But what are my personal thoughts on this? Well, I'm not going to give you my personal thoughts if I'm hungry. So I'm going to snack on this delicious chocolate covered chocolate caramel outright bar. Mm. Look at that. Limited time. It's a seasonal flavor. Get it now because when they're gone, oh, mm, the weather starts getting hot. We can't make them because they melt. Mm, oh my God, it's so good. Mm. Hold on. Get them at tigerfitness.com, okay? Also, if you're in the Midwest, they're available at Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee, the grocery store. 
So, what are my thoughts? Oh, yeah, that's so good. I say fuck it. Bring on the mass monsters. Look, guys, roll adults here. These bodybuilders have a choice to compete in this manner. Stick to the symmetry and conditioning game or, I don't know, find a different job. They can either be big, they can play their own game and hope the judges change, or get this, get this, they get a job. Nobody's forced you to be a pro bodybuilder. Just like, you know, you could choose your jobs. Like if you have a dangerous job and you're like, you're getting really well paid. Say you're a mercenary or you're one of those oil rig workers and a very, very, or ice fishermen or whatever they are. And it's a dangerous job, but you're getting paid and you love it, whatever it is, but you can take a job that pays less and has less risk. At the end of the day, they're choosing to do this. It's at will employment. They're private contractors. Go do something else. I'm just saying, guys, many pro bodybuilders have done this and found a lot of success in the real world. Evan Senapani, for example, he's crushing it in the finance world. I'm very proud of him. He's killing it. He's found life after stage. The same reason I want to see home runs being hit in baseball, regardless of steroid use, is the reason I want to see the biggest, freakiest, and nastiest freaks on stage. Football players literally run headfirst into one another, running a sub 4.0 second 40, uh, sub, sorry, sub 5.0 second, 4.0. That's fast. I don't think that's been done. 40 yard dash, and we love the big hits like, oh, snaps. Sports are entertainment, but don't get it twisted. It's a huge risk. If these athletes are willing to do whatever it takes to win, that's their prerogative. And to reward their commitment, we love it. I love seeing freaks. I love seeing Rami. I love seeing Nick. I love it. I love freaks, and I compete as a 212. I'm a small guy. But man, I, I love the freaks. Even within the 212s, you got Keon. You know, you got, you got Sean Clarita. I mean, these guys are freaks themselves, but they're only like two feet tall. <laughs> so not one bodybuilder at the top thinks that they're healthy. I've talked to all these guys. I'm friends with them. I love them, but not one, even myself included. We're not like, man, we are the picture of perfect health. I guarantee you, Big Rami's not giving seminars on how to have optimal cholesterol levels. It's not what we do. They all know the risks and try to mitigate them as much as possible. It's kind of like wearing a football helmet, right? These strategies help. The football helmet helps, but just like you still get a concussion with a helmet, you can still wear down your body and decrease your lifespan by years, as evidenced in Kovacs, Matarazzo, Sean Roden. The list goes on and on and on. George Peterson. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We can't deny it. Bodybuilding shortens your life. It just does. It just does. So does being an ice fisherman. So does working on an oil rig. So does anything. So does being a football player. You, you should see the football players that I helped when I was mentoring with Exos. We had some guys who were 40 years old. They were retired NFL linemen. They were 300 plus pounds. Their knees were literally just mush. They could barely walk. They could barely walk. To be an elite athlete, to be elite, elite, elite. Trust me, you're going to be in pain later in life. 99% chance. You could skate away pretty well, but look, Muhammad Ali. Let's keep going. For, the, for many, for many, including Ronnie Coleman, who says that his only regret is not lifting more reps with 800 pounds three weeks out from the Olympia, these are acceptable terms, and they're willing to take this risk. So I ask you guys, what are your thoughts do you think bodybuilding should downsize? Now, don't even say we should all be natural. We should all be not, not going to happen in bodybuilding or any professional sport for that matter. There will always be doping in sports. Bodybuilders just show it better. So my message to you is to enjoy the Olympia and appreciate the fact that these guys are willing to literally die to entertain you. With that said, guys, please like this video, subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, comment down below, help the algorithm, and of course, if you're looking to buy anything from this shirt to this bar to creatine, protein, pre-workout, ambrosia, MTS, pump chasers, core nutritionals, whatever your flavor, whatever your needs, Tiger Fitness has you coming, has you coming.
Well, we're not that kind of site. That's Pornhub. TigerFitness.com has you covered. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Mark Lobliner. Go to TigerFitness.com, support your boy, and that's not a game. The best booster isn't a shot. It's your natural immune system. Every time we step out into the world, we are attacked by viruses that do their best to break down our defenses. Vita helps solve this problem. Vita contains proven antiviral replication supplements and Immulina to ensure that your body is primed to defend itself against foreign invaders. Don't go another day unprotected. Get your Vita today.